I feel like my channel's just becoming Star Wars and me just talking about Star Wars stuff and some horror stuff and some props and stuff. What is this channel anymore? I really, really don't know. All right, so my last video, I mean, which I just filmed, I talked about my Revan cosplay and my costume for Revan. And now I'm going to talk about the mask of Revan, the helmet of Revan, whatever you prefer to call it of Revan. Like I said in the last video, you know, Revan's mask changes a lot through art and video games and comic books and whatnot. There's really no specific one version of Revan's mask that is the iconic go-to design for Revan's mask. So I was in a very big tiff, a uh, very, very big um, tons of fun trying to figure out what kind of mask do I want? What kind of mask do I want to wear? And I had three options and that's what I own today. Um, yes, I spent a lot of money on these masks, but yeah, let's not talk about that. So the first mask that we have is a 3D printed mask of Revan. This was made for me by my dear good friend, Rob, who 3D printed this in his garage for me. I didn't even have a Revan costume at the time. I didn't even have, I didn't even come close to getting up the courage to do a Revan costume or anything, but he decided to make me this wonderfully. It's just 3D printed plastic. He smoothed it, he sanded it. Uh, he used car paint to paint it, which is the red and the dark chrome. It's held on your head by Velcro straps. And I added a little details in the inside, a little brown, to make it a little more authentic, even though I'm the only one who's going to be seeing that. It had a welding helmet visor inside the eyes. However, uh, I just had a really big issue with fogging, which we're going to be talking about a lot today. So I took out the visor and I replaced it with black fishnet, which is an old trick that is used from the old original Friday the 13th hockey masks in the production, in the films, in which I've done many, many hockey masks using the same method. So it's just a black stocking, black um, fishnet. It's also what's used for the Kylo Ren helmet, for the Force Awakens, and whenever Kylo Ren is wearing a helmet. His eyes, there's no shiny visor in his eyes, believe it or not, what a lot of people assume there is. Go back and rewatch the films, it's just black darkness. And what they used was um, a pair of stockings, <laughs> just like in the Friday 13th hockey masks. That's what I used for this one. It's very, very large, very, very oversized, but we did that because he used measurements of my head. It was great. I mean, I love this thing. I cherish it because it was a dear good gift for me by my really good friend. And I still wear it time to time and I still have it displayed and I love it. I love the shape of it. I'm not quite sure where he got the design from or where he got the model. It has the flat nose, the flat face, which a lot of people refer to as. But this thing's great and I'm very, very happy with it. It's very, very awesome. Being 3D printed, um, it is a form of plastic. It's wonderful. Um, you can't really go wrong with it. And uh, it was a dear good gift from a friend of mine. Next, we're going to talk about the Wicked Armor Mask which is available right now through the Wicked Armor website and the Etsy page. This was the most recommended mask I ever discovered and I've ever gotten opinions on through Facebook groups and forums online and YouTube. This was everyone's uh, referenced and everyone's opinion that this is the best mask you can, you can offer and the best mask you can find as Revan. I gotta be honest, it is my least favorite mask that I own. I love the shape of it, I love the face of it, I love how it's a very small design. It's about the size of a hockey mask. It is very, very reminiscent of a Halloween store mask. I just didn't care for really the visor. This is much, much thinner and much, much smaller than any of the other masks that I have. They say that the freedom of sight on this thing is much better than other masks available. I highly disagree though. I put this thing on and I cannot see anything. Also, on another note, the inside is great. It's a great design. They use the correct foam, the correct way of putting, placing the foam to avoid fogging. However, this fogs more than anything else that I own 
that has a visor eyesight. So I really had a hard time wearing this. I would wear it time to time for maybe a show or a convention or such. It's probably my second pick. The biggest downfall about this mask, as it came in the mail, I've done nothing to it. I've done nothing to this mask. The visor, the eye visor, the film, the plastic of the visor itself, it's not glued in. It never was to begin with. It, it, you can actually move it around. It's being held together by black electrical tape on each side. For the money that you spend on this thing, usually, you can do much better, in my opinion. I think that's just laziness. I think that's just um, them just really not putting in the effort and properly setting the visor. Even wearing this thing and taking it on and off and stuff. I mean, your fingers never come close to the visor at all. However, you still see it because it's just black electrical tape. Electrical tape is not waterproof. It's not made to hold something really together all that well and for very long. So in time, I mean, having it for just a couple months, um, it began slipping and falling. And I'm gonna have to go in and remove the tape and just simply glue the visor on both sides to keep it in place. And that's just a really uh, big downfall for being a mask that is apparently approved by the 501st and everyone praises. Um, I, I just think it's my least favorite, to be honest with you. It's wonderful, it's a great design. Uh, the paint is awesome. The look is awesome. Um, the way that the V shape of the eyes is awesome. I just don't think it's for really for me. This is more of a shelf piece or a wall piece. However, I will wear this for very smaller shows. Uh, it is comfortable because of how small it is being on your face. Uh, it doesn't really engulf your head all that much. You definitely need some black material uh, to wear underneath this thing though because of how small it is. Even with the turtleneck uh, you can actually see my ears exposed from how small it is because it's much smaller than my face. And the strap itself is very, very thin, like a Halloween mask, very, very thin. Um, it has a little adjustments here and there. They're very, very easily tangled though. As you can see, they can get tangled up really, really fast. And this would be perfect for much smaller people as well. I am six foot eight, I'm 300 pounds, I'm a big guy. This is too small for me but this would be the correct size for someone more average size or more average height. However that, I mean, great work, great art, great design, and this is all resin. This is completely resin. Great job with paint. It's definitely some kind of car paint. It does have a form of a sparkle, uh, glitter-esque type of uh, design. The red isn't really clean, but I like that. The red should not be clean at all. It just kind of uh, rushly uh, put on there by hand, you can tell. The coolest thing probably about this mask though is the chin, how it forms into a point, a very piercing point like that. That's the coolest part about this mask. However, um, my opinion, just not the best option to be honest with you. And not to knock Wicked Armor. Wicked Armor is a great group of guys. They're local, they're in Florida as I am. And I love their work. I just was, I thought it was gonna be a lot different when I got this in the mail to be honest with you. And then comes my crown jewel. This is my favorite Revan mask that is available. This is made by Big Waters on Etsy. This is his deluxe or ultimate or whatever he calls it of Revan. It's the, the second tier of a three tier version of his Revan mask. I love this thing. This is so perfect. This is so great on uh, its design, its size. Everything about it is exactly what you would want and a Revit mask. To begin with, the paint job is perfect. The paint job is amazing. You can tell it's very, very well. It's done by hand. The weathering is definitely done by hand. Um, the red marking and everything was done by hand. I think that was really sprayed as I think the mask itself and the dark uh, black spraying. But this thing is actually texturized in my opinion because of the brush strokes, because of the hand painting it has a gritty feel to it it has a really rough surface and i think that should be involved with revan's mask because of the story behind the mask is it's incredible this is exactly what revan's mask should be in my opinion it is fiberglass it's completely fiberglass the visor in the center is plastic see-through it's being held together by what i assume to be welding putty or welding cement very very tough I mean, this, the, the visor's not moving at all. I would have to really break this thing if I wanted to move that visor around. The straps are really perfect. The straps are thick and they're tough, very much like a hockey mask or like a sporting safety equipment for sports. They are riveted to the sides of the mask and the top of the mask, and then they're riveted to the center of the back of the spine. The foam on the inside 
is perfect. The, there's enough foam in here to keep it not pressed against your face, but close enough that you can see. Extremely comfortable. This thing is very, very, very comfortable. And quite frankly, to be honest, uh, no fogging. Zero fogging with this whatsoever. The way that I wear this thing, so inside the mask here, there's just strip of foam. This centerpiece of foam, I added that myself. It's not there when you first buy these things. I went out and got some weathering foam uh, you use for air conditioning units or door insulation or something like that. I cut up a strip real quick. It has an adhesive back. I just sticked it inside there. I started chiseling away a little bit to fit my, my, my honker, my nose in there. This foam sits right under my eyes, like right here. And it's pushed so close into my face that I have awesome awesome vision. I can see a lot clearer and a lot better than all the other masks with this thing. With this foam here, this very, very soft foam, but just thick enough that as you breathe down here, your nose and your mouth, that air gets pushed downward away from the eye visor, away from your eyes in general, down to your chin and outside into the open air. That's exactly what you want in a Revan mask. And that, that design is genius. And just simply adding this little piece of foam in there made a night and day difference of fogging. Fogging is an issue that you're going to have through any helmet, any mask, especially in Star Wars, because they love to do the shiny, shiny glass visor that everyone does in their eyes. So fogging is something to really be look after. And this mask, adding that one piece of foam is perfect. Also, the opening for the eyes, it's a little bit wider, and this is to the point where it sits on your head that you have perfect vision. The only downfall is that you can't really look down. You So it's like, it's like having your hand like right here, and you can look up and you can look side to side, but you, you are not going to see your feet at all. So basically, hopefully there's nothing in front of you while you're walking. Walking up some stairs or walking around little kids and stuff like that, you do have to be careful. <laughs> Extremely comfortable though. I love this thing and I was so lucky to get one. He makes these on order. When you order one, he starts making them right away. Great guy, great artist. Like I said, completely done with fiberglass. So rough, the texture is perfect. The paint job is perfect. I'm obsessed with this thing. I love this thing. And this is the ultimate Revan mask that you can ask for. He does offer two other versions of this mask. He offers a much cheaper and smaller method that does not have these black side panels. So it's much more open, which prevents fogging even more because you're pushing air out of your mouth and out of your nose sideways. It does not go up into your eyes or up into the visor. Maybe I might get one of those eventually, but I'm just so happy with this one. There's really no need to get one. He does also offer a version that's a full head version, which is, this is just the front of a mask, which in my opinion is the way that Revan's mask looks like through art and comics and such. However, he does offer a full head version with the back and top and everything which looks amazing a lot more money um but totally worth it so big waters definitely worth the money definitely worth the weight and definitely worth the love that he puts into these masks and that's it that's all three of my ribbon masks um very short very quick video i wanted to make about the differences between the three it depends on what you're looking for um the big waters and the um Wicked Armor mask cost around the same price, but they're two very, very largely different masks, in my opinion. I mean, even side by side comparison, the um, the Big Waters is more true to size than as a helmet or a full Revan mask. When the Wicked Armor, as much as it's a great design, it's a killer evil looking design and a great paint job. It's much, much smaller though. It's, it's as small as, like I said, a Halloween mask or such. If that's what you're gonna go for, if you have a much smaller frame, a smaller body, a smaller head, this is definitely the best pick. However, if you're anything else, I would definitely go with the Big Waters. And the 3D printed uh, mask, uh, there's a lot of these on Etsy going for money and stuff like that. This was just a gift from a really good friend of mine who's really large into 3D printing that I do a lot of props with together. If you can get the file and you have a 3D printer and you want to do it yourself, this is a great mask too. But as I said, it's a much, much different shape and design. This is more of the flat face, more boxy looking, but some people would prefer that. Like I said, um, Revan's mask is what you want it to look like because there is no perfect mask of Revan. There's no go-to 
design of Revan's mask that it's so uniformed because Revan's mask design has changed as often as the hockey masks of Jason Voorhees. But definitely do your some research, definitely look at some art, definitely see who's out there as artists who are selling these things and making these things for people. I made this video just to show you the differences of what you could have in a Revan mask and get the your own opinion. So definitely do the right thing and get your own opinion. But yeah, there you go. Here's my video of the Revan Darth Revan, Jedi Revan, whatever you pick, mask. But definitely, I hope this helps in any way you want. If you're researching Revan costumes and cosplays and stuff like that. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And like and subscribe. And thanks. See you around.